Yo, this is Mickey CTX. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Yo, what's going on guys, Mickey CTX, and today I'm going to be talking about the things that I do not like and some things that I do like of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, for you guys that have been living under a rock, I'm going to go ahead and just spill this out for you guys. Did you know you could save 15% or more on car insurance if you switch to Geico? <laughs> no, but it, seriously, on, on, on all jokes aside, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has been out already for about two, three weeks already. And uh, so the, the, there's been, of course, a lot of speculations, a lot of rumors if they were going to even be able to compete uh, with the old company that made Call of Duty, which was Advanced Warfare's uh, new company, Sledgehammer, uh, Call of Duty's saviors, if you ask me. But um, there's been a lot of speculations if it was even going to be a good game because... Treyarch and Infinity Ward, the ones that always make Call of Duty games, for the first time is not going to make a Call of Duty game. And we all know that by this point already. So I'm going to be talking about some things that I do not like of this game. So some of the things I do, first of all, let's start with some of the spawn points that, that happen. It seems like whenever you're playing uh, Domination or Hardpoint especially, uh, the people that, that you kill are just really, really close Every time you kill him, like I mean, I mean, it's cool that I'm having non-stop action sometimes, but sometimes I mean, you're trying to reload and they spawn literally right in front of you again, and that's something that they gotta change. It's not thing, something that I do not like. Uh, I don't like the fact that that happened a lot actually, and the fact that whenever I'm running and I clear out like a room, they just say I'm running through uh, one of the the, the rooms and uh, the, that little mall by the ocean. I forgot the name of that map, but. I clear a room and then no one's there, I turn around, boom, I get shot every time. Now, I understand that there is a lot of, you know, factors in this, like people might have the exoskeleton speed, uh, you know, uh, ability, or they just happen to just get there really quicker than I assumed, but um, bad timing could also do of that. So, this is some things that I do not like, that I'm always getting just shot from the back, uh, but it, it doesn't really matter because, I mean, it kind of evens out. I mean, in this gameplay, for example, when 44 and 18, and uh, I mean, I've already hit 70 something on some of these maps. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's not the best KDR, which is the reason I didn't show it because it was like 75 and like 30. So I didn't really want to go uh, into that that much on that gameplay. But uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I do not like. Now, another thing I do not like, it's the way the guns uh, seem to be just, uh, you know, I don't know, not as fun as I thought it would be. There's certain guns that are fun. There's not that much of a variety, if you ask me. Uh, some people might say, oh yeah, there's a ton of guns and there's just so much you can do, which in certain cases it is. Uh, but but it's not my favorite, you know, amount of guns. I, I, I was hoping there was going to be more guns in this, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the DLC gun or something in the near future of some sort. Uh, the Ballista seems to be the one that everyone seems to be using. I, I don't really use that gun much. I, I don't I don't really like it. Uh, so I don't I don't really just play it a lot. I don't know. It's just my, my personal opinion. The one I do use a lot is the uh, HBR A3. That reminds me of the Remington, reminds me of the ACR a little bit, and I was always a big fan of those heavier guns. Uh, I, I could do really well with them, even with a silencer. A lot of people are complaining that, oh yeah, don't use silencer because, you know, you're going to be outgunned every time. Well, every time I'm playing with a silencer, I don't seem to be outgunned uh, as much as they have been, been saying that. Now, I'm not saying that you, you will not get outgunned or that they just suck. Uh, <clears throat> it might be true a little bit. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, it's just... You gotta play uh, with strategy. You gotta have, you know, it's not the same Call of Duty where you're just running and, and gunning. Now you're running, jumping, and gunning now. So you gotta have more strategy. You can't just expect to go in the middle of the map and tear shit up with a silencer. I mean, the, usually when I kill people, it's through surprise. I kill one people and I'm getting doubles and triples now because of the surprise. There's elements of surprise, I think, if you're gonna be using a silencer. It's not just going in there and just hoping to kill everyone that you see in sight. That's the point of, of, of a silencer. It's an element of surprise. If you give out your position all the damn time, then of course you're not going to be able to do much with the silencer. So I just think if you used it more wisely instead of just gunning and running, I'm not saying to camp, but do not just go in there and expect to tear shit up because it is kind of true. Uh, if, if a gun does not have a silencer, they will, uh, be, they will beat you. They will beat you. It's just how it's going to happen. But if you 
want to be a great player, then just think outside the box. Don't always cut through the middle, go through the outskirts of the map, and then you're going to do much better if you ask me in that in that way. So uh, that's another thing that I do not like. It's some, I wish the guns were a little bit more of a variety, and uh, certain guns like the SMGs just had a little bit more power. They nerfed it a little bit. Uh, and uh, no, sorry, I'm sorry, buffed it a little bit. Nerf is whenever you take out. Uh, and there's certain guns that you should kind of, you know, like die down a little bit. Like sometimes a shotgun's just, I mean, there's no point of even going against a shotgun. You're gonna lose every time. I mean, every time I've gone against a shotgun, I have no chance. I mean, I even shoot sometimes first. Uh, they don't see me, they turn around, shoot me once, and I'm down. That's it. That's just how it is. I think certain guns need to have more balancing, but beyond that, it's still a great, great game. Uh, on that aspect. Now, uh, something that I also do not like is the matchmaking. Now, it seems to me like whenever I have a, a, a like for example, me and my girlfriend were playing last night on, on Advanced Warfare, and we were in the same exact room. I'm not speaking virtually, I'm talking about in my house. We both have an Xbox One. Uh, and she couldn't get into my lobby, which is the weirdest thing ever because we're in the same connection and I have Great down and great up on my on my internet speed So it should have been an issue on uh, But it was a domination only and then I will go to like for example kill confirmed or another game sort and it will be perfect So they need to sort that out. I'm sure it's gonna come in the, in the next uh, few weeks They're gonna probably fix that um, Because it just seems to be like it's just I don't know it's stupid if you ask me and of course the connectivity uh, the first few days, of course, we always experience a major lag. It happens in every single Call of Duty. So I don't know why people are bitching about it so much. It, it happened on Ghost. And Ghost, in my opinion, is not. As, and I know it's a sin to talk about Ghost. It's a sin because it's just one of the most, like, the worst games of all time of Call of Duty. But, it, you know, in reality, it had one of the best connectivities. And if you ask me, uh, I didn't really suffer connectivity issues on there. And it was uh, a great game on that aspect. But the game just sucked ass. Um, it was not fun, but anyway, that's a different story. Now, the connectivity feels to be fixed here on Advanced Warfare, which I know it will. Uh, then, of course, we're gonna have a better time. Uh, I thought we were gonna have dedicated servers, apparently not, because I seen migrating host a few times, so that's, of course, one of the the, the cons uh, of the of the game. So let's just do that right there. Now, uh, another thing that I do not like right now is uh, the camos. Every time you prestige, I've already prestige once, and I didn't even know this. You start on your camos again, and I hate that because uh, it, you should just keep your camos all the time. I think some of the challenges that they give you are way too hard. Like they need to die down on some of that stuff because it just seems like they don't understand that some of those challenges that they're asking for challenges. I mean, it's gonna take a very long time for some people to do, and they'll probably never do it. Um, so. So I was just hoping that maybe they'll die down on some things because I'm not like a player that just gets a very little bit of amount of kills. I typically get a lot of kills on a pub and um, I'm noticing that even I and people like me are struggling to make some of these challenges up. So um, I wish that that was one of the things that they would improve in as well. So uh, let's just go on to the next thing that I do not like and that is of course the kill streaks. The kill streaks are not fun at all. I do not like using any kind of kill streaks when I'm playing pups. I just use it for better abilities because to begin with, I don't think they do much and the, the, the amount that you have to work for, it doesn't even get you many kills or in, in just, just it, like really quick. Like like the, uh, what is it called? The, the, the Hulk or whatever, that one ship that uh, fucking has, uh, like it's like a warship and it kills you from above. I forgot the name of it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of timing. Like you're literally there for like 20 seconds and that's it and you're done. Um, and of course, I don't see the point of that one titan looking uh, perk that people use. I mean, you get like one kill at the most. Uh, I've seen, I, like a buddy of mine uses it quite a bit and he's like, oh, he's all about it. But I was looking at how much he gets kills and he gets like two, three at the most with that ability. So uh, the, the, the kill streaks are not very uh, exciting. I mean, it's not like, of course, the MW2 days uh, where you got like the chopper gunner and then you got the Harry strikes and then you know, sometimes you got the nuke. Uh, it's not that exciting where, I mean, it literally blows up the whole map. Uh, of excitement, but these kill streaks are not very adventurous. I mean, they're, they're going down to like nothing at all. And the hack. Oh my god, who came up with the hack? I mean, seriously, the hack is the worst I've ever seen. I think the hack, if you ask me, uh, just, it's just an offensive uh, kill streak. If you call a hack, you're a douchebag. You're the douchebag of the game. 
Do not come around me. It's literally a big skull in the middle of your screen. Why is there a skull in the middle of your screen? That shouldn't even be happening. I understand that, yeah, okay, you've been hacked, whatever, but why is it every time I get killed, I have a fucking skull in the middle of my screen, which I can't even see anything. I literally gotta stop running until that skull gets out of my screen so I can actually pay attention to it. And I know, I know that it's not that long of a, of a kill streak, but it's still very just offensive. Like, there's been times they called it, I'm getting a, like, a, like a double or I'm about to get a triple, and then that shit happens and I get killed because I can't see, I can't aim. It's, it's like it's punishing the players way too much for a simple little hack. And uh, it's very easy to get, if you ask me. It's not a very hard, you know, uh, kill streak to get at all, actually, once you get the UAV going. So that's something I wish that that wasn't happening as much. Uh, now, the bomber runners, um, I think they're overpowered, if you ask me, because I've been like like nowhere near the bombing i'm inside of a building in a corner like inside of a building and i and nothing happens to the building at all of course not like battlefield but i get killed i get killed so that's another thing and i also wish that they actually fixed the radius of that just just kill streak because i just think it's so overpowered and then you call the the solar uh kill streak and no one dies you get like you got to get like 20 hit markers to kill one guy so uh they, there's quite a bit of things that they got to fix and this video course i'm gonna be talking on part one on the things i do not like i'm gonna make another video of the things that i do like which is a ton of things so uh the call of duty advanced warfare fanboys like me do not get offended by this video it is just uh, one part video the second part is coming out tomorrow so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are new to my channel hit the subscribe button for more daily content here on this channel for some more awesome gameplay of course and and don't always don't always forget <laughs> to hit that like please never forget to hit that like uh because it really helps my channel out and helps this video out every time you guys do that and until next time this is yours truly mickey ctx and i'm out video i'm just really confused so i've been in love with this girl forever. Young nigga move that dope. Young nigga move that dope. Move that